The state of New Jersey is open for business. This video podcast series is designed to help you navigate the various online business registry processes administered by the Division of Revenue and Enterprise Services. Check out the description box below to navigate the video contents using the clickable timestamps and to access the links referenced throughout this video. Be sure to click the Show More tab to view the full list of links in the description box. To view our complete series, please visit the Division of Revenue and Enterprise Services Business Gateway at nj.gov njbgs, or follow the link in the description box to view our complete playlist on YouTube. I'm a business owner in New Jersey, and I've heard about the online business record service, but I'm not sure how to use it, or even what's available on it. Could you tell me more about it? Absolutely. Provided by New Jersey's Division of Revenue and Enterprise Services, the Business Record Service is an online service that allows you to search for information on all types of businesses operating in New Jersey. You can obtain standing certificates and status reports, obtain copies of filed documents, and download lists or abstracts of businesses on file with the state. Today, I'll demonstrate how to use the online business record service for each of these purposes. Let's begin by going online. Type the link currently shown on screen into your browser window or follow the link in the description box below. This will bring you to the business record service homepage. Before we continue, I'd like to share with you a handy tool you may want to make use of before or while using this service. Click on the word Help from the top bar menu. This Help page has the answers to many questions you may have about the business record service. For instance, say your question is, I'm looking for information on a business. What kind of information can I order? Select that question and click Continue. The next page will explain all the different business and informational documents available for order. I'm thinking of ordering a business entity status report, but I'm not sure it'll contain the information I need. This page also outlines what information is included in a status report, as well as a link to a sample report. What about standing certificates, or trade name, or trade slash service mark status reports? That information is on this page, too, with samples of each. Now I have a different question. I'll click Previous to go back to the Help page. And my question is, my document expired in its past 30 days. Can I have a new download link? After I click Continue, here's my answer. Unfortunately, my download link has expired, so I'll need to order new copies. Fortunately, the Business Records Service can be used to order new copies online. If you have a question not listed here, select the last option on the Help page. This will open an additional Frequently Asked Questions page with even more information. This chart outlines services and fees. Further down the page is a list of the different types of business entities and their abbreviations. Below that is a guide to the status codes that may be assigned to a business entity. Before you begin using the Business Record Service, I recommend checking out that Help page. There's a lot of helpful information available. Now, let's return to the Business Record Service homepage and continue our demonstration. Let's go over business entity standing certificates first. You can search using any of these search types. Enter the information for the business you're searching for and click Continue. The next page will open a search summary and a chart of information. If you've searched by entity ID, the only option displayed will be the business entity filed with that number. But if you've searched by business name, you may have multiple business entities show up in this chart. The chart shows the business name, entity ID, city, type, and original filing date. You can use this information to help identify which business entity you want to order certificates for if you're presented with multiple business entities. Use the checkboxes to select which standing certificates you would like to order, and then click Add to Cart. The next page will review your cart so far. If you're ready to proceed to checkout, you can select your payment type from the drop-down menu and proceed with payment. 
If there are additional items you'd like to add to your order, click Continue Working. You can access your cart at any time by clicking the Cart tab from the top bar menu. I also want a Business Entity Status Report. Once again, you can use any of these search types to find the business you're looking for. Enter the search information and click Continue. A search summary and information chart will show on the next page. Use the checkboxes to add a status report and copies to your order. Click Continue. This page will show how many businesses you've selected to receive status reports for. You may add multiple status reports to your order. Click Add to Cart when you've got all the status reports you want selected. Business Entity Documents will pull any documents filed for a business entity. Search for the business, then check the box under Order Copies from the chart on the Search Summary page, and click Continue. This page will show all the documents available for order for the business entity you selected. You may order certified or non-certified copies. Certified copies are issued under the hand and seal of the state's filing officer, the state treasurer, and they are used mostly in legal proceedings or for other transactions that call for higher levels of document authentication. For most routine purposes, non-certified copies that is, copies that are not certified under the hand and seal of the filing officer, will suffice. Use the checkboxes to select the documents you wish to add to your order and click Add to Cart when you're ready. Now I also want to order a business entity list, which is a list of all the business entities within a set of search parameters. I'd like a list of all business entities that contain the word yoga in their name. I'll use the name search type in yoga, and view the search results. Then add the list to my cart. I also want to order a list of all business entities filed in 2020. I'll use the original filing date range option to define my search range, January 1st to December 31st, 2020. The search results will show how many business entity records are included in the list, and this chart outlines the cost of the list. Now I can simply add this list to my cart as well, and I'm ready to check out. The checkout process is simple. Select a payment type from the drop-down menu, and then click the Pay Now button. On the next page, enter your payment information. Before you submit payment, double-check the information on this page. The transaction summary on the right shows your order total. These edit buttons allow you to change the payment information if there's a typo or error. If everything looks correct, click Submit Payment. After your payment has been processed, a confirmation page will open. Please print or bookmark this page for your records, making note of your payment confirmation number. Under the Requested Information box on the bottom of this page, you will see your access code as well as a link. Make note of your access code. Following the link directly from this page will bring you to the Document Retrieval Center with your access key already filled in. From this page, you'll be able to see all your ordered files and their status. If they're still in processing, please wait at least 30 minutes and then refresh or return to this page. Documents are not always available immediately, and it may take up to 24 hours to retrieve your documents. To download your documents, use the View button for each document, and then download each PDF after they open. The View button only opens documents, it does not download them, so please be sure you download each file. What if I can't download them right now? Can I download them later? Yes. To download your documents at a later time, visit the Document Retrieval Center by typing the link currently shown on screen into your browser, or clicking the link in the description box below. Today, we addressed answers to the most frequently asked questions and demonstrated how to obtain business entity information online through the Business Records Service. If you have additional questions not covered in this video, 
please visit the Business Record Service homepage and check the Help tab for more information. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Remember to check out our additional videos either by clicking the playlist link or by visiting the Division of Revenue and Enterprise Services Business Gateway at nj.gov slash njbgs.